Hey, Picks and Parlay family, it's me, Detroit Lenny, here again with another rapid fire, MLB rapid fire. Everybody's talking baseball, I'm sorry, hockey and basketball playoffs. We're here to talk a little baseball with these two knuckleheads, Sean Higgs, Tim Earl, Earl Sports Best Bets, respectively joining us. We're going to go over a promo we got for you. Each one of these guys are going to give you two plays, and I got a parlay for you. All you got to do is hit the like button. Go ahead, wait. We'll wait. No, we won't. Kansas City at the Tigers here. Totals at seven and a half. Kansas City is a slight favorite because they might have had a nice Friday. Sean Higgs has got to play for us. Where are you going, Sean? Yeah, you know, I hate when I got two teams I want to bet on when they face each other because now I'm stuck because the good news is I get a win. I got both win totals over here for these guys. But I'm going to look at the in-game total here, seven and a half, and I'm going to go under. I rocked out the eight here on a Friday. I ended up with a push in the midday money yeah. show. Are you kidding me with that? Seven runs and a hits batters. I mean, what is going on? Ridiculous. But you take that out. Let's. This game's going to be a four-one kind of game. Somebody's going to win. Right. Uh, both of these guys, Mize and Singer, five starts for Singer, four for Mize, both pitching well. I mean, the ERAs are nice. Some people don't love the ERAs. They're all about the whip and oh, what kind of spin rate does this man have? Da, da, da. They're pitching good. Yeah. Yeah, the, the the Royals, I think, are 17 and eight to the under so far to start the season. The Tigers are in a pitcher's park. Both offenses, they got some nice big bats you think are going to come in here and rake. They're not raking right now. No. Under's the way to go. Give me the under seven and a half. I already bet this one for Saturday. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Yeah, this is already locked in here. Tim Earl, we're going to go right to Tim. He's going to talk about the Nationals and the Marlins. Marlins minus 140. How is the worst team in baseball favored at home? I don't care where they're at. I don't care if they're at their mama's house. Totals at eight. Tim Earl, where are we going with this one? I never care what the line is for the game. I'm always on the opposite side. Every single day, fade the Marlins. Uh, they've played yeah, 26 right. times. We've already put a, uh, a play up against them 26 times this year. And uh, it's 18 and eight. It's up like 10 plus units uh, fading the Marlins so far. Me and Nick established early in the year. This Marlins team was going to be bad. Their entire pitching rotation, including their Cy Young Award winning pitcher, was going to be out for the year. Their offense, we're not impressed with. Um, they have not been good this year, and it's exactly what I've expected. I mean, this is this is bad, though. Six and 20? Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm Give me the Nationals at plus money. I, I, I'm a fan of this Natty's team. I said that they were uh, a fourth-place team, and I, I thought the Mets were going to be a lot worse. I thought they were going to be competitive with the Mets for third. Um, but, uh, I, I like the nationals here plus one twenty. I like Mitch Parker. Uh, I, I like the, I'm not a fan of the nationals in general, but I like this pitcher here. And again, worst team in baseball, Miami Marlins nationals for plus money here. Uh, we're going to go right back to Mr. Higgs here. Talk some Astros and the Rockies. Now this is in Mexico, Mexico city, whatever. It's not in Colorado ballpark. Astros, huge favorite. This total, this is not a typo. 16 and a half. Ugh. Sean Higgs, where are you going? Uh, only way to look in this one, and I know you got Mr. No-No on the hill here, but yeah. you got to take the dog here with Colorado. I mean, first of all, the total is 17, basically. 16, I mean, look at the runs yeah, here. This is ridiculous. I would, hey, by tomorrow morning, it could be 18s. You <laughs> know, I don't care. And Blanco threw the no-hitter. The next game, he went like seven shutout a, a, innings again he's i mean right. he's pitched fabulous but the team in a as in a hole they're not hitting and this is he's the only guy pitching good so maybe he goes seven or eight innings here i don't even know because you're playing in a ballpark that could be a launching pad i think last year i think the Padres here was like 20 something runs were scored in this game in the first yeah. game here i believe they played the red sox i, I you know i'm not 100 uh, sure no. no i believe it was dodgers was it the dodgers i it was some yeah. we had a bunch of either way a lot of Giants, runs. Sorry, and, Padres Giants. Padres Giants. You're going to give me a 185 with the dog here? Uh, I'll, I'll take the dog in, in what could be a wild back and forth game. I got to take the 185. That's fair. That's fair. Let's keep this part. Uh, listen, I, I, you guys know I normally I'd go, I'm not doing over 10. And then, you know, they pitch clock and I moved it to 11. And now, listen, don't even ask me about 17. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm just saying, you no. Know, no, I'm telling you what, I'm laddering it in every which way, shape, or form under. But let's talk this game. Rays, huge favorite against another crappy team, Chicago and the White Sox. Totals at seven and a half. Tim Earl, kind of a total, right? Where you got with this one? 
I figured I'd pick out the two best teams to talk about for the uh, MLB. <laughs> That's like, right, you know, yeah. My, the teams, the teams the I'm talking side. about combined uh, uh, you right know, right. nine and, and 42 to start the year. <laughs> take take away from the playoff hype of uh, hockey and NBA with the, yeah, with with the White the, Sox the, and the Marlins. Bottom of the barrel, <laughs> with the White Sox and Marlins. Um, but, I, I'm yeah, it's kind of a total. I'm grabbing the White Sox team total under. Um, this is a White Sox team. is just pathetic. Uh, eight times they've been shut out this year so far. And they are averaging the least amount of runs per game, which is 2.24 runs a game, which is just awful. A 192 batting average. I believe going into today, they had one player in their starting lineup that was hitting over 200. Just let that one sink in for me. 200, by the way. Two. They, they've played uh, 25 games. They have 14 home runs this year. Yeah, um, give, give me the team total under. This team is just – this team is bad. I can see this game going over, but just because um, Tampa Bay scoring, but under right, on the right. White Sox. That's fair. That's a good look at it. Uh, listen, I got to plug the promo I forgot in between games. Pick some parlays.net forward slash two for one. You can get both these guys premium plays. Sean Higgs and Earl Sports Bets. They're over there. I forget which way. Both these knuckleheads. Premium plays, three-day pass, $99.00. Both these handicappers, you got to do picks and parlays.net forward slash two for one deal. I told you to hit the like button. I gave you the promo. They gave you the picks. Here's your parlay. Rangers money line. Higgs mentioned it. Uh, Royals Tigers about the under. I love the first five under. You can get that at about plus 100, plus 105. First one, four, under four. You can get that at. Also, Rangers money line, I think it's like 130-ish. Add that together, 260. Um Michael Lorenzo's on the mound for the Rangers, so let's roll. Um, good luck unless you're against this. That's all I can say about that. Peace out.